จุนเนตุงกันจุนจุนจุนจุนจุนจุนจุนจุนจุนจุนจุนจุนจุนจุนจุนจุนจุนจุนจุนจุนจุนจุนจุนจุนจุนจุนจุนจุนจุนจุน
这个抓住这个机会啊，这个我们就是要看我们自己的人生的计划。如果我们的计划错了啊，虽然是有很好的这个机会，但是呢，最终啊，我们还是没有得到任何，不会得到任何的东西。嗯，咳咳如果有一个比较。准确的这个计划，人生的计划啊，这样子的话，我们的人生就是有了目标啊，有了方向啊，就是往这个方向啊奋斗的话啊，就一定会有收获的。So each of us really needs to consider what our life goal is, what is worthwhile or worthy of being our life goal. It's very important that we consider this question. As we spoke about the other evening, this human life that we have represents a wonderful opportunity. However, whether we seize this opportunity or not is really up to us, and this really rests on our life plan. If the、uh, plan that we set for ourselves for our lives ahead is in error, is mistaken, then if we um. Uh, if we go according to this plan, then we will ultimately end up empty-handed. Whereas, if the life plan that we set for us is a proper one, is a correct one, then by following、um, this goal or this direction, by investing energies in following this plan, then we will surely have results at the end. Ah, that we, some people, think. 啊，就是金钱啊，可以解决我们的所有的问题。然后有些人呢，啊，就是因为权力可以解决我们的所有的问题啊，这样子等等啊，有很多很多的这个无解。其实啊，金钱也可以解决我们的一部分的问题，权力也可以解决一部分的问题。嗯、啊，但是呢，有一个问题呢。确实是啊，金钱没有办法解决，权力没有办法解决。然后我们很多人非常的重视这个人际关系啊，人际关系这个人脉的关系也不能解决的一个问题啊。有一个这样子的问题呢，总有一天我们今天在座的所有的人啊都要面对啊。那么面对这个的时候呢，我们。应该怎么办啊？我们用什么东西来面对啊？这个我们今天必须是每一个人要啊思考的问题。Some people feel that money is able to solve all problems. Others believe that power is capable of solving all problems, and so on. We have many confused understandings about what is able to solve the problems in our life. And while it is possible that money is able to solve some of our problems, and perhaps power is able to solve some of our problems, and the same might be said too for personal connections and、uh, relationships, there is one major issue in respect of which none of these things is able to solve. And this is something that every single person has to ultimately、um, confront in their life. And how we go about facing this one major issue is something we all need to. To consider very seriously, and it's what we're going to be talking about tonight. <coughs> 好，那么这个时候呢，我们啊，应该用什么样的方法来解决这个问题？用什么样的办法？用什么样的方法来面对呢？啊，<coughs> 就是呃，我们平时我们非常非常重视的这个金钱啊、权力、关系啊等等。啊，这些东西呢，这个时候就就会失呃，会失去他们的所有的价值，所有的这个能力。也就是说，这些东西在这个时候是根本就用不上，没有任何的意义啊，就会有一个这样子的一天啊。那么这个时候呢，我们真正能够用得上的啊，用得上的是什么呢？用得上的就是这个菩提心。So, how do we go about facing this challenge that inevitably lies before us? It's、uh, not something that、um, money or power or connections is、uh, really going to assist us with. At the moment that it arrives, none of these things will be of any use or of any value to us. And、um, on this day, which will inevitably and surely come for each of us, the only thing that will be of value to us is. Body cheater. 
。那我们啊，很多人对佛教啊有各种各样的这个误解。那么有些人呢就觉得啊，学了佛以后，自从学了佛以后，就要放下所有的这些世俗的生活啊。然后就有些人呢觉得啊，学了佛以后就有要接受。很多很多的约束，也就是我们讲的戒律啊，等等，有很多的这样子的误解啊。其实我们、嗯、学佛的时候呢，我们也并不是说把所有的世俗的生活啊、世俗的这个工作啊都放弃啊，这个是不可能的、嗯、啊，不可能的。所以呢，我们啊，一方面。啊，有有这个世俗的工作生活，同时有一部分的时间啊，用来学习、修心、打坐啊，尤其是修菩提心啊咳咳，这样子的话，这两个啊，佛教的修心啊，跟这个世俗的生活，这两个我们可以做到啊，不矛盾，而且可以做到很圆融。Many people have a misunderstanding about what Buddhism is and what Buddhist practice entails. They、uh, believe that Buddhism requires them to let go of and abandon all of their worldly or mundane life, and to take on or accept many restrictions and curtailments.、Um, there are many understandings of、uh, this kind of nature. In fact, studying Buddhism doesn't require to let go all of our worldly activities and our world, our work in our、um, in our worldly lives. It's possible for us to continue our worldly existences, but at the same time to reserve some time and amount of time for the study and the practice of Buddhism, and in particular the cultivation of bodhicitta. So it's possible for us to. Have a situation where not only Buddhist practice and worldly life do not exist in conflict with each other, but in actual fact, where they exist in a harmonious and complementary way. Ah,、uh, 然后呢，如果有菩提心啊， uh, 如果有菩提心的话，那么这个里面呢，就是包含了很多很多的内容啊。Uh, 只要有菩提心啊， uh, 然后我们不接受其他的约束。哦，都没有问题的。那、呃、本来啊，佛教的这个戒律，或者是佛教的这些约束啊，都是根据自己的情况来啊决定，也就是自己决定啊，接受多少条戒，或者是接受多少的这个约束、呃。本来就是可以自己可以选择，嗯。然后，尤其是啊，如果有菩提心的话。那么这个菩提心当中呢，那就包含了所有的、所有的这些，啊、呃，所有的这些善啊，所以呢，我们只要有菩提心的话，那就是可以说，啊、呃，这个当中呢，一切都包含了，啊，佛在佛经里面呢，也有一个非常著名的一句话，啊，那佛说什么呢？想成佛的人啊，就不需要学太多太多的法，就学一个。啊，那么一个是什么呢？就是慈悲心啊，一个就是慈悲心啊。也就是说，如果我们学慈悲心、学菩提心这样子的话，那么如果没有其他的学习、其他的修心啊，也没问题。这个当中都包含了。If we are able to cultivate bodhicitta, then bodhicitta in itself includes or encompasses a great deal within it. So it is、um, possible for us to cultivate bodhicitta, and through doing so,、um, for it not to be necessary for us to take on any further restrictions or discipline or vows in addition to this. In actuality,、um, discipline, ethical discipline within Buddhism is something that is determined in light of one's own situation. So、um, every individual has choice over what extent of discipline they take on, how many vows they decide to keep, etc. But in fact, in relation to bodhicitta, it is said that bodhicitta encompasses all virtue or all positiveness, and、uh, it is also said in the sutras that it, it for those who wish to attain Buddhahood, it's 
it's not necessary to cultivate many practices. Just one is sufficient, and this is compassion. And so it's uh, therefore the case that with by cultivating compassion, cultivating bodhicitta, that this in itself is an all-inclusive practice approach, not necessitating us to cultivate many other practices in addition to this. So uh 所以我们作为一个世俗的人一个普通的人去挣钱工作有世俗的生活这个是很真诚的所以佛从来不会要求放下所有的世俗的生活除非是我们出家了除非是我们像弥拉日巴大师一样放下所有到山里面去修心否则
追踪终极的目标。只要我们有一个这样子的目标啊，只要我们真正的有一个这样子的目标的话，那暂时。目前啊，我们没有太多的这个实际的行动的话，那这个需要呃，这个有一个过程的。目前因为我们很忙，有很多的事情，所以呢，呃，没有太多的这个实际行动的话，也是啊，没问题的啊，就是有一个这样子的原菩提心，就已经是非常非常不错的啊。这个是释迦牟尼佛亲口说的啊，所以呢，我们学大乘佛教。啊，学大乘佛教，其实啊，大乘佛教是一个非常非常人性化的啊，这个佛教，所以我们啊，不需要受太多的约束，也并不是说我们学了佛以后，把我们所有的世俗的东西全部啊。人掉啊，这些都不是这样子，所以我们啊，这个呃，有我们、嗯、把佛法。和工作啊，佛法和生活要圆融啊，要圆融啊，这个就是我们目前的呃唯一的一个比较正确的学佛的方法。There's a story of the advice that、uh, the Buddha gave to a king in ancient times, and this advice, this story is very often repeated in the Mahayana teachings. And this king in question was extremely busy, more busy、uh, with his responsibilities than most ordinary people. And so the Buddha knew that he didn't have much time to devote to the study and practice of Buddhism. So he advised the king that,、uh, given his situation, he could、uh, instead start off with making an aspiration of bodhicitta. So with relative making an aspiration of relative. Bodhicitta,、um, and、uh, even though for the time being this might just be an aspiration,、uh, not accompanied by much concrete action,、um, this would nevertheless be an appropriate、um, approach for the king. So, how did the Buddha advise the king to make this aspiration of bodhicitta? Well, what he advised him to do was, regardless of How busy、um, he was! The responsibilities that he had to fulfil、um, were not, or should not be, the primary、um, tasks, or the, they're not the primary or ultimate ends in themselves. Despite the fact that the king had responsibility to those in his kingdom, just like householders have responsibility to their family members, and it's necessary for everyone to fulfil the different responsibilities that they have in their lives with. An aspiration of bodhicitta. These tasks and responsibilities that we have to fulfil don't become our ultimate goal in ourselves, in in their selves. The ultimate goal instead. Um, becomes not just for this life, but for all lives to come. That we undertake all activity with the purpose of delivering all beings from the sufferings of cyclic existence, so that、uh, they may obtain liberation. And that in order to、uh, satisfy or fulfil this goal, we vow to. Uh, first, attain Buddhahood ourselves in order to be more effectively bring about this goal. And、uh, so long as we have this, we engage in our actions, our everyday actions and responsibilities with this goal in mind. Then, even if for the time being we are not able to、um, back up this aspiration with so much concrete action,、uh, this is okay.、Um, this is what we talk about as.、Um, Bodhicitta as aspiration or aspirational bodhicitta, and this advice was、uh, imparted by the Shakyamuni Buddha, Buddha himself. So we can see from this really that the Mahayana teachings are very、um, are very humane. They're very、uh, they're very、um, They very much meet the needs of humans in their life. It's not necessary for us to abandon everything necessarily in practicing Buddhism. It's possible for us to bring our practice, and indeed, it's necessary for us to bring Buddhism and our lives together. This is the only proper approach we can take to our Buddhist practice. Ah, 那我们作为一个啊普通的人。
啊，我们去追求或者是享受，呃，现实生活当中的幸福和快乐啊，那这是正常的、合理的啊。为什么这么说呢？佛教里面讲啊，因果啊，善善恶因果。那我们的现在的这个生活，也就是说，我们人类的这个生活啊，这个不是我们因为我们过去造罪。啊，今天我们来这个赎罪啊，这个受苦啊，那是什么呢？就是因为我们过去啊，积德行善啊，积德行善的果报啊，所以我们今天就是这个果报成熟了以后呢，我们啊有机会啊，就作为一个人啊，我们今天不是。啊，一个地狱的众生，也不是一个恶鬼道的众生，也不是一个动物啊，我们是一个人。那为什么我们不是动物，不是这个恶鬼？为什么是人呢？啊，那是因为我们过去信善积德，所以我们今天就变成了一个人啊。那我们的这个，我们自身啊，变成了人，然后我们现在所拥有的这个生活，是我自己在过去。信善积德，这积德的这个国呃这个国报啊，那既然是这样子的话，那我们有资格啊，这个啊有权利啊去享受或者是去追求啊现实生活当中的所有的这些幸福和快乐，只要我们的幸福和快乐啊不会。伤害到别人啊！只要我们的幸福和快乐没有建立在啊别人的这个痛苦之上啊，这样子的话，那我们享受也好，追求也好，都没有问题的。佛教啊，从来没有要求我们啊放下所有的这世俗当中的这些生活当中的幸福和快乐啊。那佛教对我们的要求是什么呢？佛教就是说啊，我们咳咳啊。应该懂得啊，追求更高的幸福啊，追求更高的幸福。现在的幸福和快乐，可以的啊，可以可以可以享受，也可以追求。但是呢，佛鼓励我们啊，让我们去追求更高的这个幸福，更高的快乐。这就是佛的这个教育啊，佛的要求。So. That we, in our human forms,、uh, pursue or enjoy happinesses in our everyday and worldly lives is something that is normal and is reasonable as well. And the reason for this is、um, due to the law of karmic cause and effect.、Um, The, and、uh, this is the case because in our current lives, the、um, current happinesses, the current happiness that we have, the lives that we do have, are not the consequence and not the product of negative action、um, on our part in the past. Rather, these, this human life that we have, this opportunity、um, to for rebirth in human form, is the fruit or the product of. Past positive action and merit accumulated in past lives. So it's as a result of this past positive action and merit accumulated that we are here in this human form and not in the form of an animal or a hungry ghost or a being of the lower realms. So. Given that we are here in a human form in this current life, and it is the consequence of our past positive action, then we are entitled fully to enjoy the happinesses that we have in this life and to pursue happiness in our worldly lives too. So long that is, as our pursuit of happiness doesn't harm others or isn't. Uh, premised on causing the suffering of others, so there is no issue and no problem with pursuing happiness and enjoying the happinesses that we do have. The Buddha never asked us to abandon all happiness in our everyday lives. However, what the Buddhist teachings do urge us to. Strive for and do encourage us to strive for is a higher form of happiness, and、uh, this is something that um, um, what the a Buddhist、um, education entails. Ah,、uh, 那么我们每一个人可以去追求或者是这个享受幸福和快乐
啊。可是我们啊，只懂得啊，这个通过感官的刺激所获得的这个啊，只懂得追求或者追求和享受。啊，通过感官的刺激所获得的幸福和快乐啊，我们绝大多数的人就认为幸福就是这个，啊，快乐就是就是这些啊。除了这些以外，我们很多人就觉得没有别的幸福和快乐啊。其实不是这样子啊，通过这个感官的刺激所获得的这个快乐。也就是我们的生活当中，我们所感觉到的幸福和快乐。那除了这个以外，还有很多其他的幸福，更高的幸福和更高的这个快乐啊。只不过我们啊没有发现，还有其他的这个快乐啊，幸福。我们以为幸福和快乐只有这些啊，所以我们只懂得追求这些。所以我们只懂得享受这些，除了这个以外，更高的幸福和快乐呢？因为我们不知道，我们不了解，所以我们也没办法去享受，也没有办法去啊这个追求啊。那么佛就鼓励我们啊，佛告诉我们还有其他的幸福快乐啊，真正的幸福，实质上的幸福和快乐呢？并不是我们现在在现实生活当中所获得的这些快乐啊，这些快乐、这些幸福、这些快乐，虽然我们认为是快乐、幸这个幸福，但是实际上啊，这个还不是真正的快乐。快乐，真正的快乐，就在啊，就就在除了这个以外，还有啊，还有很多更高层次的啊，更好的这样子的。快乐，我们可以去追求啊！每一个人都有这样子的机会，所以佛就让我们去追求快乐啊！不是佛让我们放弃所有的快乐和幸福，不是佛让我们啊这个呃放弃幸福啊，接受痛苦啊，不是这样，佛还是让我们去啊这个这个啊追求。更好的幸福啊，然后大乘佛教呢，它就是说，不仅仅是鼓励我们去追求我们自己的幸福和快乐，而且大乘佛教鼓励我们啊，去追求天下所有人的幸福和快乐。So everyone, indeed, um. Can pursue and is entitled to pursue and enjoy happiness. However, if the、um, only form of happiness that we know how to enjoy and pursue is、um, happiness that is derived from、uh, sensory gratification,、uh, then this is a、um, a limited understanding. However, many people, for many many people, this is the only way that they the only form. That they under understand happiness to be,、um, aside from happiness derived from sensory gratification, they、um, there is in fact a great deal of、uh, other forms of happiness available to us. However, because we don't know about them, we don't understand these other forms of happiness. We only、um, know how to pursue and enjoy those kinds that are derived from sensory gratification. However. What the Buddha taught us is, in fact,、um, that we should pursue real happiness, and that this real happiness is not actually these forms of happiness that are derived from sensory gratification, even though we often think that it is.、Um, this real form of happiness um, is uh, something that exists in higher forms, that is, forms higher than、uh, the kind of happiness that we are habituated to pursuing, and. And、uh, these higher forms of happiness is something that everybody has the opportunity to pursue and enjoy for themselves. And indeed, the Buddha strongly encourages us to pursue these higher forms of happiness. So we can see then that the Buddha's teachings are not encouraging us to abandon、um, the pursuit of happiness and to take on suffering, but rather to pursue a better form of happiness. And、um, 
in as students of the Mahayana path, we uh, not only uh, pursue this better form of happiness for ourselves, but also pursue uh, this better form of happiness for all living beings. Ah, we men, we know the pursuit. 通过感官的刺激所获得的这个幸福，我们认为除了这个以外没有幸福啊！这个就好像啊，一个在乡下长大的这个小孩啊，从来都没有吃过其他的甜的啊，那这样子的小孩他认为甜啊，什么叫做甜？甜是什么呢？就是感觉。啊，甘蔗的味道就是甜。他认为除了这个以外，没有甜的啊，蛋糕、巧克力，还有其他的糖果，他从来都没有吃过。所以他认为甜啊，就是甘蔗啊。所以他想吃甜的的时候呢，啊，然后就到田里面去找甘蔗来吃。啊，然后比如说，在牧区长大的一个小孩，他也从来都没有吃过其他的甜品啊。那这样子的小孩，他以为什么叫做甜？牛奶就是甜啊。除了牛奶以外，这个世界上没有什么甜的啊。所以呢，他想吃甜的东西的时候呢，去找牛奶喝啊，因为他也从来都没有吃过其他的。啊，这个甜品啊，所以他就只知道这一点啊。那我们现在也是，我们现在我们也就只知道，通过感官的刺激所获得的幸福，我们认为这个就是幸福。除了这个以外，没有幸福，没有这个呃快乐，快乐和幸福就是这些啊、嗯。但是我们现在呢，我们凡夫人呢，就像一个啊乡下。啊，从来没有吃过其他甜品的小孩一样啊，然后我们同时，我们也就像在牧区，除了牛奶以外，没有吃过任何其他的甜品的小孩一样的，我们从来没有啊尝过啊这个呃、啊、这些啊这些稍微比较高一点的这个幸福和。快乐，比如说，我们绝大多数的人啊，绝大多数的人还真的还没有这个啊，感受到过一些啊，有有些呃，有些幸福和有些这个快乐。比如说啊，我们大坐修行的时候呢，有有一个感受叫做禅悦啊，禅悦喜悦的悦，这个就是通过。禅定所获得的一种喜悦的感受，叫做禅悦。我们感受过吗？我们从来没有感受过啊。然后就是这个利他啊，利他慈悲心和菩提心所带来的啊幸福，对我们自己、对我们自己的人生、对我们的这个生活的满意啊。然后这个满意、满足。感所带来的这个幸福，根本就不是像我们通过感官的刺激所获得的这个幸福和快乐一样。但是我们多数人也没有啊，从来也没有没有尝到过这样子的这个幸福，没有感受过这样子的幸福。所以佛就告诉我们啊，不要停留在这个啊这个这这种这种幸福和快乐的这个层面上啊。这个幸福快乐，我们现实生活当中的幸福快乐，是我们自己的过去的这个积德心善啊，积德心善的这个国宝啊，所以我们当然是可以去追求，当然可以去享受。但是呢，如果我们只懂得这一点的这个享受啊，这一点的这个追求，如果永远都停留在这个层面上的话，那就是佛就觉得我们。就获得了一个人生啊，还不懂得追求其他的，那确实是不划算啊。所以呢，佛就告诉我们啊，现在你拥有的幸福都可以，都不需要放弃。但是呢，希望你啊，更进一步的啊，更上一层楼啊，就是以这样子去追求幸福啊，这就是大乘佛教的啊这个精神啊，大乘佛教的思想。
大乘佛教的核心的思想。那然后我自己获得了这样子的幸福的时候呢，然后我们把这个幸福和快乐分享给更多的人。我们希望更多的人。也就能够感受到这种幸福和快乐啊！那这就是大乘佛教的这个核心的思想。However, if we only understand how to、uh, pursue happiness derived from sensory gratification, that is, if we only know to equate happiness with this kind of、um, pleasure that is derived from sensory gratification, then we'll be just like a child from the countryside or a child from a remote、uh, nomadic area who has never in their life tasted any、uh, form of sweetness other than. That from the sugar cane, and a child in this situation who has never before tasted any other forms of sweetness or sweet foods such as cake or or sweets or chocolate, such children in this situation、uh, wouldn't know that these are perhaps superior forms of sweetness. And whenever they、uh, felt the desire to eat something sweet, they would go immediately to the field to look for the sugar cane. And for a nomadic child who had never tasted any other form of sweetness other than that. The sweetness of milk would, in a similar way, every time they experience the desire for sweetness, would go to find some milk for themselves. So, as we are in our present situation, we are like、uh, children, only knowing the sweetness of sugar cane,、um, only understanding、uh, sensory gratification. As happiness, that is, we only under understand happiness as existing in this form,、um, and the reason for this is that we've never tasted superior forms of happiness. For example, other major forms of happiness beyond these、uh, kinds that are derived from sensory gratification may include the bliss that is. Derived from meditation, meditative bliss. However, the majority of us, for the majority of us, this is nothing. Something that we have never experienced before. At the same time, compassion and bodhicitta, the happiness that is derived from、uh, cultivating compassion and bodhicitta, is a source of、uh, great personal satisfaction. Um, however, the majority of us never experience these things,、um, and、uh, what the Buddha taught us, or what the Buddha encouraged us to do, was not to simply stop at、um, our current level of understanding in relation to happiness, but to aim higher. Of course, we are entitled fully to enjoy the current、uh, pleasures and happinesses that we have in our life, given, as we said, that they are the karmic consequence of positive merit accumulated in previous lives. However, if we only, if we remain At this point, and don't move any further, don't aim higher. Then, from a Buddhist point of view, this、um, we have this excellent opportunity of a human life, and、uh, not using it to aim for higher pursuits is in fact a bit of a waste. So it's not necessary for us to abandon our worldly lives and abandon the happinesses that we may have, but to aim higher,、um, to aim for somewhat higher forms of happiness. And this, what we have described, is the、uh, attitude of the Mahayana teachings, the spirit of the Mahayana teachings, what you might call the core Mahayana thought.、Um, According to this、uh, thought, after we have obtained,、uh, we have attained、uh, higher forms of happiness for ourselves. Then we share, go about sharing these forms of happiness, happiness with others.、Uh, this is the principal core of the Mahayana teachings. 好，那这种啊，这种幸福，我们什么时候啊开始追求？啊，这种幸福，我们什么时候开始享受了这种幸福呢？啊，自从我们发菩提心啊，就关心别人啊，爱天下所有的众生，慈悲天下所有的众生啊，那这个时候我们就开始追求了更高的这个幸福，同时我们也开始享受啊更高的幸福。
So this higher form of happiness, when is it that we begin to pursue it and from when is it that we begin to enjoy it? Well, from the time that we are able to uh, cultivate bodhicitta and thus care for and have compassion for all living beings, then from this time onwards we begin to our uh, sincere pursuit of this higher form of happiness and also begin to enjoy this higher form of happiness as well. <coughs> 啊, 这个时候呢, 就像这个乡下的母取的孩子, 啊, 开始, 啊, 吃巧克力, 开始吃风米, 啊, 开始吃这个, 啊, 单糕, 啊, 的一样, 我们也就是开始, 从原来的这个基础上啊，先有的这个快乐的基础上，我们再去追求另外一种更高的幸福啊，这个就是我们开始修菩提心的时候，开始修慈悲心的时候呢，实际上啊，这一切都开始了。and in so doing, we will be like that child from the countryside or the nomadic child who begins to taste the sweetness of honey or begins to taste the sweetness of chocolate. That is, um, upon our original foundation of understanding, we begin to aim for higher forms of happiness. And so when we begin our practice of culti- cultivating bodhicitta, then our pursuit and our Enjoyment of this new form and higher form of happiness um, begins in earnest. Ah, why? 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 啊，其实真的是这样子。我们啊，爱天下所有众生的时候呢，那么天下所有的众生，也就是开始爱我们。那这样子，我们爱天下所有的众生，然后天下所有的众生爱我们。那这样子爱就是充满了这个时节啊，
cultivate compassion in our own minds, then after, if upon this foundation we engage in even a very small kind of action to benefit others, then the sense of happiness and satisfaction that flows from this action and this motivation will um, greatly transcend any happiness um, that we can derive from sensory pleasures and activities in our worldly lives. <coughs> 啊，然后我们现在讲的这个癌，就是大乘佛教讲的癌，就是一个物质死的，呃，物质死的癌，呃，平时我们也叫做大癌啊。那这个癌跟我们世俗的这个癌就是有点不一样啊。我们的世俗的癌就不一定啊，有了这个癌不一定让我们很幸福，因为为什么这样子？因为。它很多时候给我们也带来很多很多的痛苦啊，会带来很多的痛苦。为什么这种癌会给我们带来痛苦呢？就是因为这个癌的大部分的成分啊，实际上就是一种自私啊，实际实际上就是一种自私啊，就是我们啊可以啊，比如说。可以看得到，这个是知识啊。为什么说这个的大部分是知识呢？比如说，我们啊，就是满足不到我自己的这个需求的时候呢，我们啊，很多人去伤害对方啊，去伤害对方啊。那么，这个就是充分的说明，这种爱就不是一个物质式的爱，这就是一个多巴啊。大多数的成分就是一个知识啊，所以呢，这个知识得不到满足的时候呢，本来是爱对方的，但是呢，现在他满足不了自己需求的时候，去伤害别人啊。我们经常都看得到，谁把谁杀了，谁把谁毁容了啊，等等啊，经常都看得到的啊。那这个大癌，无条件的、物质式的这个癌，跟这个完全是不一样的，所以呢。这种癌啊，菩提心啊，还有就是大乘佛教讲的啊，这个癌就给我们带来无限的这个快乐和幸福啊，这跟我们世俗的这个小癌是完全是不可以比的，完全是不一样的。So um, this love that we refer to. Um, or uh, what we refer to in the Mahayana teachings as uh, great love or great loving kindness and compassion is different from a more ordinary or worldly concept of love that we um, that we are perhaps more familiar with this. And the reason for this is that this ordinary notion of love is um, not always able to bring us happiness. Rather, it frequently brings us um, suffering and pain. And the reason for this is that the um, main component or the majority component of this love is in fact selfishness. And this means that when Uh, we are unable to fulfill or meet our selfish desires, then uh, this love then be, um, changes and we harm others. So we can see from this that this love is not selfless, but is in fact um, in the majority selfish. Um, we can see this from the fact that w to begin with, we love someone, but then we are not able to meet our own uh, selfish desires and then we end up harming others. There are many Examples of this, we see them very often of people who uh, loved others to begin with and then end up killing them. So great compassion that we speak of in the Mahayana teaching is uh, very different from this ordinary concept of love. Um, great compassion is able to uh, bring us immeasurable happiness and uh, there is really no basis for comparison Between this great compassion of uh, this great compassion or great love and more ordinary love or limited love uh, that we are uh, used to talking about in our ordinary lives. Ah, we now in today's society, many people think that their life is not worth living. They don't have any value. They have no ability to live. 自己没有能力，然后呢，就是，呃，这个啊，经常都很嗯，很啊，呃，很不开心
啊，就是这个自闭症，嗯，有很多人就是有这样子的自闭症，觉得自己没有用啊。那么这种人，比如说他从最小最小的地方开始，如果投入这个利他的行业当中，哪怕是做很小很小的一两间啊，一两间，比如说每天啊两到三个利他的事情啊，这样子的话，一周两周。的时候过去了以后呢，他一定会啊、呃、感觉到我的生命是非常有价值的啊，我活着非常有意义的啊，这个一定会从此以后一定会不不这个消失啊，端出啊这个自闭症，这是一个非常非常好的方法。所以呢，现在啊。西方的有些心理学家，稍微比较懂佛教的一些心理学家，他们也就是用这种办法来啊，这个治这个自闭症啊，其实是非常有用的。那么佛教里面呢，很早就讲过这个事情啊。我们表面上看，我们发菩提心，然后我们去做利他的事情，表面上看我们在利益别人啊，实际上啊，不仅仅是利益别人。更多的在利益自己。In modern society, there are many people who feel that their lives are valueless. They feel that they have no ability whatsoever. They feel unhappy. They have a sense of inferiority and no self-esteem. And if people In this situation, were to begin by benefiting others in even very small ways, perhaps every day just doing one or two or three very small things to help others, then within one to two weeks, it's guaranteed that these、um, people would start to feel that their lives indeed have meaning and indeed have value.、Um, this indeed is a One of the best methods to treat issues of low self-esteem and inf- inferiority, and、um, many psychologists in、uh, Western countries who are somewhat familiar with Buddhist teachings also use、um, or recommend this method to help their patients who are dealing with these issues. And this is something that Buddhism has been aware about、uh, for a very long time. When we engage in altruistic action to benefit other, benefit others. On the surface of things, of course,、uh, it seems, and we are helping others. But actually, at a more deeper level, we are really helping ourselves as well. 啊，然后这两啊两到三个啊，这个利他的事啊，要刻意的去做啊。首先，就故意的去做，不是无意当中啊，很专心的去做，也就是说，很专心、很认真的去做啊。然后做完了以后呢，也要去啊，要要要感受啊，要回顾我今天做了多少个啊利他的事情啊，然后最后把这个作为回想啊，就回想啊，这样子的话，就是就一定会感觉到自己的生命确实是。以前就觉得没有用啊，没有意义，但是现在啊，我很快就把这个想法就转变过来啊，现在就觉得非常有用，非常有意义，然后就活得很开心，一定会找到新的希望啊啊，这是一个很小很小的这个事情呢、啊，就如果我们去做的话，其实确实每一个人都可以可以做得到的啊。但是我们以前啊没有想到啊，没有想到我去做这么简单几件事情啊，然后把我的所有的这些观念啊转变过来啊，然后之前我觉得啊没有我活着没有意义，没有我觉得我是一个没有用的人啊，一个这样子的观念，然后立即就转变啊，我觉得我活得很有意义，我的生命很有价值，然后我是一个很有用的人啊，那这个转变。其实就一个这么简单的行为，就可以转变的，但是我们不知道，所以呢，很多人啊有这样子的病啊，那这个就我们从这一点啊就看到这个啊自利和利他啊，佛教就讲自利利他，实际上这个利他当中。包含了自利啊，利他当中就包含了自利，利他
当中就有自离啊。如果我们投入专心的去离他，那么自离。就不需要单独去做自离，这里面已经有了自离，啊，这就是大乘佛教的诀窍。Uh, so these two to three small actions to help others. To begin with, we should do them in a very intentional, deliberate, and diligent way. Um, and then, at the end of the day, we should recollect the actions that we engaged in today. How many、um, positive actions to help others we、uh, did do, and then we should dedicate the merit、um, to all beings. And、uh, if we are able to do this, then our lives will have value.、Um, previously, our lives that seem to be purposeless and without value will be able to be transformed, and life will begin to carry new hope. So this is a very small thing, and yet it's something that everyone can do. However. Previously, it, it never occurred to us that it would be possible to change our attitudes through、uh, such a small modification or adjustment to our actions.、Um, we、um, didn't realize that it would be possible to have a sense of our own lives as full of value and useful and beneficial by simply making a, an adjustment, a simple adjustment like this. And it's on account of not knowing this and not understanding this that many people are sick and suffering. So that's why we speak in Buddhism about benefiting self and other. At the same time, that is, when we benefit others, this actually encompasses benefiting oneself too. When we wholeheartedly invest ourselves in benefiting others, it's not necessary to turn ourselves independently to benefit benefiting ourselves. It is accomplished already, and this is a、um, special approach of the Mahayana path. <coughs> 好，这一章啊，我们讲了这个。慈悲心，啊，慈悲心的这个重要性啊，我们为什么要修这个慈悲心的这些理由啊？那这个理由道理啊，我们这两天都讲，昨天也讲过，前天也讲过啊。但是呢，呃，还要讲，因为我们如果还不知道这个慈悲心的重要性啊，这样子的话。那么我们就一般都不太去想啊，去想这个利他的事情啊，我们更多的就会想利己啊的事情。所以这个理论啊、道理、理由，我们必须要讲的要要要清楚一点啊啊。然后接下来呢，我们再讲这个具体的方法啊，具体的这个修心的方法。那么具体的修心方法呢，我们昨天。啊，讲了这个啊，修这个慈悲心的具体的方法啊，然后我们今天呢啊，再继续讲啊其他的方法。So、um, we have been speaking tonight as well as yesterday evening and the evening before about the importance of bodhicitta and the reasons why it is necessary for us to cultivate bodhicitta. Um, it's even though we have、uh, been speaking about the importance of bodhicitta、uh, quite a bit, it's necessary for us to keep doing so because without being clear about the importance of bodhicitta, then we will find ourselves really not.、Um, Thinking about benefiting others, but rather、um, thinking in the majority about benefiting ourselves. So it's very important that we are clear in our minds about the importance and the reasons why we need to、uh, cultivate bodhicitta. So、um, tonight, for the rest of this teaching, we I,、uh, we are going to now、um, turn to actually methods, concrete methods for cultivating bodhicitta. 好，那么我们昨天啊，就是给大家介绍了这个修慈悲心的三个步骤啊，这三个步骤都是非常非常具体的，呃，具体的方法。那、啊、这个三个步骤，我们最好啊，就是打坐啊，以打坐的方式
去思考啊。那在如果我们不搭着啊，在现实生活当中去想也可以，但是呢，因为现实生活当中我们的心本来就是很浮躁啊。本来就是很浮躁，所以我们在这个时候呢，让我们去很认真的、很专心的，就想，呃，另外一件事情确实是很难啊。所以呢，我们必须啊、呃，每一天或者是只要有时间的时候啊，通常就有一个这样子的专门的时间。来训练啊，然后在这个专门的时间当中训练的稍微比较好的时候呢，然后我们可以用到这个生活当中啊，用到这个工作上面，用到家庭当中啊，这样子的时候，这样子这样子是非常好的。但是呢，在这个之前啊，开始的时候呢，就有这么一段时间是专门来这个。修心啊，那这个用佛教的话来讲，这叫做大坐闭关。So、uh, yesterday evening, in our、uh, introduction to the cultivation of compassion, we spoke about three stages of contemplation, and、uh, these three are very important stages、um, in this contemplative practice, and it's best. If possible, that we do it in the context of a formal meditation session. That is, we can reflect on these things in our everyday life as we go about our activities. However, since our minds, when we are not sitting down to meditation, are usually very restless, it's difficult for us to concentrate on particular、uh, single thoughts and give them all of our attention. So, it's necessary, therefore, for us to. Dedicate time specifically to training our minds and cultivating this practice. And after we are able to develop a strength or a stability in our、um, practice, then we can start to bring our understanding into our everyday life and our、uh, family life, our work life, etc. Before this, however, it's necessary that our contemplation or our reflection, our practice,、um, be cultivated. In a formal meditation session, <咳>啊，我们必须要相信啊，我们每一个人的心是可以被训练的啊。那这种训练呢，有有意的训练啊，也有无意当中这个呃训练啊。有意的训练呢，我们大做修心啊，这样子。<咳>然后无意的这个训练是什么呢？无意当中啊，就比如说，啊，跟我们的这个经常接触的人啊也有关系。然后我们所在的环境啊也有关系。比如说啊，我们经常就接触一些，呃，人，他们是非常非常在乎这个外表啊，然后非常喜欢攀比啊，非常喜欢这个炫耀。啊，非常贪财啊！那这样经常跟这些人打交道，然后经常跟这些人混在一起，然后经常这个啊这样子的话，那么跟这些人在一起的时候呢，那么主要的这个话题，那肯定是啊怎么样赚钱呢、啊？啊，然后等等等等。啊，那这样子以后呢，这个人他本来就不，他本来不是这么贪财啊，本来不怎么喜欢啊炫耀攀比的一个这样子的人啊，但是呢，就是因为受到了这些人的熏陶，这些人的影响，逐渐逐渐啊，就不知不觉当中啊。半年过去了以后呢，他也就莫名其妙的就变成了一个非常贪财，然后非常非常追求外表啊的一个这样子的人，那这是无意当中这个培养出来的。It's necessary that we have a belief in the ability for the mind to be trained, have a belief in the malleability of the mind. However, the mind can be trained or can be molded in ways that are both deliberate and unintentional. So, examples of the mind being molded in deliberate ways would be through purposeful meditative practice, and examples of our minds being shaped or molded in unintentional ways would be、um, when we are affected through the relationships we keep and the context or the environments that we find ourselves in. 
in. So an example of this would be people who are very, uh, say, concerned with superficial appearances, ostentation, competition, wealth, etc. Um, a person who, to begin with, was not concerned with these things at all, nevertheless, by often spending time in the company of such people, would find that the topic of conversation, the main topic of conversation would be things like how to make money and so on. And so this person who, to begin with, was not like this at all, would find themselves um, under their influence within a period of six months to um, within a period of six months, gradually um, becoming like the people around them. That is, gradually becoming more money-oriented, more oriented and concerned with superficial appearances and so on. So this is an example of how we can be shaped or molded in ways that are unintentional. <coughs> Uh uh 这就是我们无意当中培养出来了慈悲心这个每一个人我想我们很多人都会有这样子的感受所以呢我们在大乘佛教里面呢就特别特别的忠实啊我们的这个导游啊导游就是经常我们跟这些人接触的这些跟我们
啊。那这个训练我们昨天讲过了，三个步骤啊。那么三个步骤搭坐。坐下来以后呢，啊，就是就很认真的啊，去很专心的去一个一个的去思考啊，思维啊，只要我们去稍微关注一下别人的痛苦，然后尤其是非常重要的就是我们第二个这个啊步骤就是环维的这个思考啊。这个是非常非常关键的，嗯啊，只要有一点啊，在这些上面呢，我们如果花一点点时间的话，啊，一定会有这个慈悲心的，绝对是会有的啊。为什么这么说呢？第一个，我们每一个人，哪怕是在这个社会上，大家都认为非常非常糟糕的人啊，那么他的心底呃是善良的啊，他的这个心理是有慈悲心的种子，只不过是。家庭的原因、教育的原因、环境的原因，各种各样的原因，他的这个成，他的这个种子还没有成熟而已啊。实际上，每一个人都有这个种子啊。那么，有了这个种子以后呢，我们现在这种培养的方法，让他的这个种子成熟发芽，完全是可以的啊。所以呢，这样子这个。呃，训练的话，每一个人都一定会有啊，会升起这个慈悲心，这是这是绝对的啊。只要我们自己稍微花一点时间，稍微下一点功夫的话，每一个人都可以啊训练我们的这个心啊。我们必须要相信，我们的心是无意当中可以变好，也可以变坏啊。然后刻意的这样子的这个训练呢，那更加的，我们把我们的这个。这个这个心啊，有人心啊，可以变成啊魔鬼一样的心啊，也可以这培培养成这样子啊。一个人心啊，可以培养成菩萨的心肠，这个也是可以的啊。所以佛教讲因缘啊，只要有这些因和缘，任何一个东西都可以改变啊，任何一个东西都可以改造。啊，所以呢，我们啊，这个之前我们是一个好人或者是一个坏人都不重要啊。从此以后呢，明白了这个道理，然后接受了这个训练啊，然后脚踏实地的去接去。做一点点啊，这方面的工作，也就是接受一点训练啊，那这样子我们的心就会越来越有爱心啊，越来越有慈悲心。这是一个非常具体的方法啊，我们昨天讲的是一个非常具体具体的方法。So,、uh, just as it is possible for us to.、Uh, For our minds to be shaped in unintentional ways, so too, as we mentioned, it's possible for us to shape and transform our minds through deliberate or intentional practice. And、um, the way that we would do this, of course, is through the purposeful training and meditative cultivation. So last night we spoke of um, we we um, we addressed we、um, a meditative method, a meditation method, a contemplative meditation. Entailing three stages, where we、um, reflect with great con、uh, concentration on the nature of the sufferings of others, and the most important stage in this、uh, contemplative exercise is where we、um, contemplate the suffering of others by、um, uh, from their perspective. That is the contemplation where we adopt the perspective of another and imagine what. The suffering would be like if we were in their shoes,、um, and if we are able to engage in this、uh, contemplative exercise in a、um, in with diligence, then it is certain that we will be able to generate compassion. And the reason for this is that even the most miserable person in society, the most the most Wicked person, nevertheless, has in their hearts, in their minds, a seed of compassion. It may not be for the time being ripe, but this is.、Um, a 
perhaps due to uh, external circumstances such as their family situation or education or environmental factors, everyone, regardless of um, how they may currently exist, has a seed of compassion in their minds. And um, we certainly have methods at our disposal for ripening these seeds so that uh, we can generate compassion. Um, every single person through investing uh, energy in these practices and by uh, training themselves will be able to generate compassion. So um, um, our minds, it's possible for them to be shaped in ways that they become better or good or also ways whereby they become bad or worse. Um, it's possible that our minds can improve through non-intentional, um, in non-intentional ways. It's possible that they can get worse too in non-intentional ways. Even more than this, in terms of our deliberate action, it is possible that our deliberate efforts to shape our minds can yield results of uh, these two kinds too. So it's possible th for us to shape our minds into the minds of monsters, it's also possible for us to shape our minds into the minds of uh, bodhisattvas. This is entirely possible. And the reason for this is that um, insofar as in, we talk about causes and conditions, so long as the causes and conditions for any particular result in, in, are in place, then anything can be changed and anything can potentially be achieved. So it is irrelevant whether to begin with a person is good or bad. The important thing is that they understand uh, this principle and that they accept um, training in the methods of cultivating compassion and um, with by investing a bit of effort in cultivating um, these methods, then it is guaranteed that uh, everyone will be able to generate loving compassion, loving kindness and compassion. Uh, these, this method or this approach is one that is very practical in nature. 好，这样子啊，通过这个三个这个不同的思维的方式，也就是我们昨天讲的三个步骤，啊，然后最后呢，我们就会就获得一种啊结果，啊，这个结果是什么呢？啊，诚心实意的啊，发自内心的希望啊，天下所有的众生。啊，都没有任何的痛苦，都远离所有的这个痛苦啊。这时候有这种想法啊，发自内心的有这样子的想法的时候呢，然后我们的这个慈悲心已经啊修成了，已经达到了非常标准啊。这是一个。第二个呢，然后我们有这样子反复思考了以后呢。然后就是发自内心的希望，天下所有的众生都啊拥有幸福啊，不仅仅是离开了痛苦，而且啊拥有幸福，每一个众生，每一个人啊都幸福快乐啊，就发自内心的啊，而且是坚定不移的啊，有一个这样子的这个信心啊、嗯，这样子的这个希望啊，有这样子的希望的时候呢。啊，这叫做词啊。这时候呢，我们把这个词也就修成功了啊。那这时候呢，词和悲这两个都修成功啊。那这个时候呢，我们自己会知道的啊。我们有些人经常问，那我怎么知道我慈悲心修好了没有呢？啊，那这个当然自己会知道了。我们有没有这样子的想法啊？我们有没有在想？发自内心的希望天下所有众生啊离苦得乐啊！我们经常我们自己啊，在我们啊，就发自内心的希望我们自己啊离苦得乐啊！我们经常都是在生活当中，经常都是从小到大都是这样子啊。那我们从现在开始，有没有把这个这种想法啊，这个心愿？从从我的身上，然后就是延伸到别人的身上啊，有没有这样子？那有和没有，自己非常清楚的。这个比任何人都清楚啊，自己比任何人都清楚。如果有啊，那我这个慈悲心修成了；如果还没有啊，或者是稍微有一点点，但是呢，现在还不是很明显。那这样子的话，我们还要啊，花一点时间啊，去。
进一步的去修啊，进一步的去修，最终啊，我们一定会有这样子的这个啊慈悲心，一定会有的。我不知道这个我们，因为每一个人的情况不一样的，也许有些人也许需要半年的时间，也许有些人需要一年的时间，也许有些人呢就一个一个月就可以啊，但这个就。嗯，不一定的，呃，总的来说，我们每一个人啊，只要自己不不不放弃啊，能够坚持的话啊，一定会成功的。最后，我们一定会每一个人可以把自己的心培养成这样子的这个慈悲心啊，完全是没问题的。So by、uh... Following the contemplative exercise that we set out last night,、uh, which encompasses three stages of contemplation, the result of this will be a sincere wish、uh, that all beings. Uh, be free from suffering, and when we sincerely and very strongly、uh, wish this in our own minds, then we will have successfully、uh, cultivated.、Um, Compassion, that is our cultivated cultivation of compassion, will have reached what you might call the requisite standard for this practice. At the same time, when th- after.、Um, Completing uh, this uh, contemplative exercise, we wish sincerely and unwaveringly that all beings enjoy happiness. Then we will have successfully cultivated loving kindness. Many people often ask, "How do we know for ourselves when we have properly cultivated compassion, or how do we know for ourselves when we've properly cultivated loving kindness?" Well, this is something that, of course, we're able to know and evaluate for ourselves. That is,、um, from、uh, the time we were small to the time、uh, to where we are now. Our wish has primarily been for、uh, to be free from suffering for ourselves and to enjoy happiness for ourselves too. So, as to whether we have been able to extend this wish beyond ourselves to include all beings, this is something that we are in a better position to know than anybody else. And so, we have to ask ourselves: Have we been able to do this? Yes, no, a little bit. To what extent? If we've been able to do it. Uh, if we've been able to、um, generate this wish in、uh, maybe to a small extent, but not yet in a very strong way, then we need to continue with our practice. And、um, this is something that every single person, by practicing in this way, will be able to see success in their practice. They will be able to see results, concrete results in their practice. Of course, everyone's situation is different. It's not possible to say exactly how long this will take for some people. Maybe six months for another person. It might be a year. Everybody is different.、Um, it is、um, guaranteed, however, by diligently cultivating compassion through this practice method that everyone can、um, achieve success in their、uh, the results of this practice. Ah, then we are doing the practice. Ah, some times, 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 ah, some times. 但是确实是没有什么，呃，没有什么感受啊，会有这样子的时候啊。但是这个这个呢，我们要知道，这是一种要知道，这是一个正常的心灵反应啊。因为我们是初学者，不一定每一次打坐的时候感觉都非常非常的好啊，这个不一定的。有些时候就确实是，呃，没有什么收获啊，甚至是一天两天都没有什么收获，那、啊、没有什么进步，或者是。呃，一段时间当中没有什么明显的进步啊，都没关系，只要能够坚持的话，就一定会越来越好的啊。然后有些时候呢，我们一开始打坐的时候就感觉特别的好啊，这个慈悲心特别的强烈啊，特别的希望所有众生离苦得乐。特别真的是发自内心的希望，天下所有的众生啊，远离痛苦啊，拥有幸福，发自内心的去想啊。有些时候呢，就比较容易啊，就做到啊，啊，比较容易做到。有些时候呢，就没有没有感觉，但都没问题的。只要我们往前能够往前走的话，就会越来越好的。
It's sometimes possible that even though we are very diligent in our meditation practice, that we um, nevertheless don't really um, experience um, much result or feeling in our practice. Um, it's necessary, though, that we realize that we recognize this is a very normal situation as uh, beginners in particular, not Every time uh, we sit down to meditate, will we see signs of progress? And this might be a situation that we experience for several days or for a period of time. But uh, regardless of the situation, by persevering, by keeping on with our practice, over time it is uh, guaranteed that we will see improvement and we will see progress. Um, sometimes uh, when we start off with our practice, we have very good results results, very strong results. We feel a very strong and sincere wish uh, that all beings be free from suffering and a very strong and sincere wish that all beings enjoy happiness. And then sometimes when we don't experience uh, much um, feeling or um, uh, response um, at all, whatever the case may be, however, the important thing is that we do continue with our practice and persevere. 啊，然后有些时候感觉比较好的时候，感受比较强烈的时候呢，就诚心施意的想啊，只要天下所有的众生都能够幸福，都能够快乐的话，那我啊无所谓啊，我痛苦不痛苦，幸福不幸福都无所谓啊。如果有一天我有这个机会，我来承担。啊，天下所有众生的痛苦，或者是我来代替天下所有众生的痛苦啊，发自内心的想，我都愿意啊。有些时候感感觉好的时候，就会有这样子的啊，会有这样子的这个呃这个决心啊。那么有了这个决心的时候呢，啊，开始有这个决心啊，开始有我们开始啊，希望别人啊，这个。呃，呃，别人啊离苦得乐的时候呢，实际上我们自己开始，我们自己啊开始啊离苦得乐啊，实际上这是一个自然的规律。我们实际上我们求的不是我自己的这个离苦得乐，我们求的，我们修的是别人其他众生的离苦得乐。但是呢，这是自然的规律。我们刚才也讲了这个利利他。当中就有利有利己，实际上啊，我自己的这个利苦得乐就开始了啊。实际上，我自己的这个身心的啊痛苦开始结束啊，开始结束了啊。那这个就是，因为我们投入到利他当中啊，实际上我们没有不需要单独去利己啊，自己的事情就在这个当中啊，可以啊，可以成就的。Um, at times when we feel very strong in our practice, that is our wish that other beings be free from suffering and that they enjoy happiness is very strong, um, then at uh, such moments we can make the wish that so long as other beings can be free from suffering and can achieve happiness, then my own happiness, my own suffering doesn't matter at all. If in taking on the sufferings of other beings, they are thereby able to be free from suffering and achieve happiness, then I am willing to do this. So this is a um, aspiration, a resolve, a prayer that we can make at times when we are having a uh, At having strong practice, and actually, when we begin to wish that other beings be free from suffering, then in actual fact, we begin, in fact, to work for the ending of our own suffering as well. And、um, even though, of course.、Um, At this moment, we are wishing for the elimination of suffering of other beings. In actual fact, as we said before, through working for others, we also、um, uh, accomplish our own self-benefit too. And、uh, so, in working.、Um, 
it's not necessary for us to explicitly work for our own self-benefit by investing in b the benefit of others then our own benefit is automatically accomplished 好,这个时候呢,我们开始修另外一个修法 and uh, when we have uh, reached this stage of practice, then we can go on to another form of uh, bodhicitta or compassion cultivation practice. Uh, this is one that um, also entails three uh, different stages or three different parts, and I'll go on now to explain these to you. 好,第一个,我们发自内心的希望天下所有众生离苦得乐,或者是有些时候呢,我们觉得只要众生幸福,只要所有天下所有的人幸福,那我怎么样都无所谓,有这样子的想法的时候呢,然后我们开始修这个自
给予这些天下所有的每一个人、每一个生命，然后我们再观想这个每一个人、每一个生命获得了我送给他们的礼物啊，这是我送给他们的礼物啊，每一个人就得到了这个礼物，然后呢，每一个人也就变成啊，幸福、快乐、成功啊，这样子的一个观想。啊，这样子观想、啊，这就是自他相换的第一个步骤。So in exchanging、uh, self、uh, for other,、uh, exchanging self and other, we Wish that all of the happiness that we possess, whether it be our Good health, or happiness in our minds, our harmonious family life, or success that we might have in our careers—that is, even though all of us has unhappy aspects of our life and unfortunate aspects of our life, we also do have many happy things.、Um, and so, it is important that we reflect on our advantages and reflect on our those aspects of our good fortune and our blessings. And after having reflected on these things, we. Then、uh, make a strong wish to share these good、uh, advantages and blessings and good fortune with all beings. And how, in fact, do we go about doing this? How actually do we say share our own sense of happiness in our minds, for example, with others? Sometimes, for example, we find ourselves、um, in the presence of、um, friends who are experiencing great suffering, and in this situation, it's not possible for us to.、Um, Copy or to、um, paste the、um, happiness that we experience in our own minds on their minds. It's not possible for us to do this. But one approach we can do is to、um, engage in or to cultivate exchanging self and other, and we do this through a process of visualization.、Uh, we start off by. Visualizing, imagining that all of our happiness—that is, as we mentioned before, all our、um, our good health, our success, our relationships, other forms of mental health, happiness, etc.—take the form of a white cloud of white vapor. And as we exhale through our mouths and through our nose, we visualize, we imagine all beings in front of us, and that through exhaling this white vapor through our mouths and nose, we share. With them, all of our happiness, and we imagine all beings receiving this gift that we have given them, and through doing so, becoming healthy, happy, successful, and so on. So this is the first stage of the practice of exchanging self and other. <coughs> 啊，然后这个呃，然后我们啊，再把这个其他的所有众生的这个痛苦。也就是，比如说，身体的不健康、生病、疾病，然后呢，心情不愉快啊，事业不顺利等等啊，这些所有的这些痛苦，呃，变成了一个黑色的气体啊，黑色的空气。然后我们吸气的时候啊，呼吸的这个吸气的时候呢。然后把这个黑色的气体啊，就吸进来，全部把所有天下所有人、所有生命的这个身上的不愉快、痛苦啊，这全部吸吸收、吸进来，然后呢，最后融入到我自己的这个心间啊，观想为我的啊这个我执、爱我执，我们昨天讲的爱我执啊，就。这、就是一种念头啊，就是我们特别爱自己的这个念头啊。这个黑色的气体全部融入到这个爱我执的这个念头当中啊，全部融入到这个念头。然后呢，因此啊，天下所有的众生啊，就离开了啊，离开了这个呃、啊、身体不健康、心情不愉快等等啊，只有我一个人。啊，接受了天下所有众生的啊痛苦啊疾病啊，因为我代替了，因为我承担了，所以呢，除了我以外的天下的所有的生命啊，现在他们离开了啊这个呃
疾病啊，离开了这个心心啊，心情不愉快啊，然后呢，因此他们都幸福，都快乐啊，只有我来承担这个痛苦啊，那这样子观想啊，也要发自内心的这么去想。The、uh, second stage of the practice、uh, involves us calling to mind or bringing to mind the,、uh, the ill health, the sickness, the unhappiness, and the、um, unluck and、uh, ill fortune of all living beings, and to、um, visualize this in the form of a black cloud or a. Um, or a cloud of black vapor, and we inhale this black dark vapor, and in so doing, inhale the unhappiness and suffering of all beings, and、um, this black vapor、uh, mixes in our heart with our sense of self-centered、uh, self-centeredness. What we mentioned last night, this self-centeredness or self-clinging, self-cherishing, is an idea or is a is a thought, and so we. Um, imagine that this, the suffering of all、uh, beings in the form of this black vapor, make contact with and mix with this self-centeredness, self-centeredness in our hearts, and that, and as a result, that all beings be freed, are freed from their sufferings, their unhappiness, their ill health, etc. So, in doing performing this visualization, we reflect that、uh, so long as all beings can be freed from、uh, their sufferings, then、um, we, I, am willing to take on all of their happiness. So long as they can be in this.、Um, In my taking on of their suffering and unhappiness, that they can be freed from their suffering and can achieve happiness, then I am willing to do so, and、uh, we visualize and practice in this way. <coughs> 好，然后这样子的修法啊，修这样子修法的时候呢，同时我们也要啊，通过语言来表达啊，佛经里面呢。比如说《前心》啊，里面有一个专门的有几个啊、呃、几句话，这个我们可以念啊。如果不没有啊，如果如果不知道怎么念，没有这个这个这这些资资料，其实资料很简单啊。这个在大圆满的《前心》普显上是演讲啊，这个有电子版，网上可以。可以随时都可以下载啊，那个里面有，但如果暂时没有的话，那我们可以这么说啊，就是圆我的所有的幸福快乐啊，就能够啊，所有众生都能够得到啊，圆所有众生的这个痛苦啊，我一个人能够承受啊，能够代替啊，这样子语言也要也也也要说出来。And in、um, doing these visualizations, we can also、uh, recite words to、uh, reinforce this practice.、Um, these are just—it's、uh, just a simple set of th- simple words that we recite.、Uh, they are contained in the words of my perfect teacher, which is available in、um, online version. However, if we don't have access to this, then we can simply recite. As we visualize, as we do this, these these practices, we can simply recite: "May all beings receive my happiness. May I take on the suffering of all beings." And we recite in this way as we、um, do the visualization practice. 好，我们我们讲这个修法的时候呢，通常啊，很多人就问问两个问题啊。第一个问题呢，那我们这样子把我自己的幸福快乐分享给众生啊，那这个观想啊，到底有没有用啊？实际上，这些众生他们能不能得到这个幸福啊？能不能通过我的这个修法，他们啊得到这个幸福和快乐啊？当然，我们啊，这个没有办法把我们的这个幸福和快乐真正的复制给他们，送给他们，这是没有办法。更多的是一个自己的慈悲心的训练
啊，但是呢，也不是完全没有用。如果有真正有这个慈悲心的话，那我们这样的诚心实意的去把我自己的东西分享给众生啊，以慈悲心的力量，众生。啊，绝对会有帮助的，绝对会有帮助。但是这个帮助呢，啊，呃，并不是说我把我全部的东西送给别人啊，没有，没有，没有这样子的办法。但是呢，他们可以得到啊，这个呃，可以得到幸福，有帮助的啊，至少有帮助的。Uh, typically, there are two questions that many people ask. Um, at uh, this stage of uh, learning about the practice, and the first question is whether, if I give all my happiness to others in、um, in this way through performing this visualization, does it really work? That is, can they are they really able to receive all of my happiness in this way? And of course, it is not possible for us to really take all of our different forms of happiness and give them to others in this way.、Um, this practice is primarily a training in com- in cultivating compassion. However, in saying that, it is not completely without use、um, in respect of benefiting others. That is, when we can、um, come to this practice, cultivate this practice with great sincerity, then it is a It、will be able to be of benefit to others. At least it will be of some help to others. Although this help will not be that of concretely、um, giving all of our different forms of happiness directly to them. Then the second question is, is many people ask, "Ah, that we do this to help all the suffering of the world, ah, the suffering, the pain, the unhappiness, the suffering, the suffering." 呃，黑色的这个空气吸进来，那会不会我真正的痛苦啊？啊，会不会我真正的会生病呢？啊,啊，刚才我们大佐的时候呢，我们有了慈悲心，我觉得无所谓啊，一时冲动过去了以后呢，啊，然后就开始害怕，会不会真的我会生病呢？啊啊，但是。不需要担心啊，不会生病的，不会不会痛苦的啊，因为这个是慈悲心，这个我们在心善，心善这么伟大的善，它的结果啊是幸福，是快乐，它的果报不会是痛苦的，所以啊，这个不需要这样子的担心。Um, the second question that is often asked is whether, in taking on all of the suffering and unhappiness and ill health of other other beings in the form of a black vapor through inhaling their suffering in this way,、um, is it possible that、uh, we ourselves will become become unhappy as a result and will become sick as a result?、Um, there is no need to、um, think like this. The reason being that the result of our、um, practice in exchanging self for other is the generation of compassion, and the karmic consequence of、uh, sowing the seed of、uh, compassion is. Is one of happiness. It is not one of suffering. So there is no reason to fear in this way. 好，这个是一个呃非常具体的修法，但是因为时间的关系，我们今天讲的，呃，实际上这个核心的这些修法呢已经讲了，但是呢，我们如果想稍微更加的啊、呃、多了解一下的话，那我们可以去上网。去搜啊，这方面的这个资料啊，都很多的。像毁灯之光的这个网上有很多我以前讲过的一些视频啊，还有电子版的书啊、音频，什么都有的啊。还有其他的这些佛教网站上面呢，有其他的这个上师讲的英文版的、韩文版的啊，都很多，大家可以这个上网去了解。啊，那么，呃，另外的两个修法呢，我们今天讲不完，今天就讲到这里，明天要继续讲，因为明天的这个课啊，虽然是它的内容呢是另外一个内容，但是这个另外的内容当中呢，有一部分呢，呃，就是菩提心啊，那明天我们会继续讲另外的两个，我们在现实生活当中怎么样
啊，去呃应用，这是一个。第二个呢，我们怎么样把这个慈悲心，用这个慈悲心来消除我们自己的啊各种各样的担心啊、担忧、悲伤，还有就是焦虑啊、这个压力等等啊，痛苦。总的来说就是痛苦，怎么样啊？就总而言之啊。我们怎么样用慈悲心来解决我们自己的痛苦啊？就这两个，今天呃没办法讲，我们明天啊、呃、就可以继续讲。啊、uh, ，So tonight we have、uh, covered or addressed the core part of this practice of exchanging self and other. However,、uh, since we don't have、uh, Much time left. It's、uh, not possible for us to go into it in、uh, further detail. However,、uh, particularly online, there are、uh, many teachings on this practice.、Um, for example, in my Wisdom Light online teaching resources,、um, which include books,、uh, video teachings, audio teachings, etc., there is more instruction on this practice, and.、Uh, Uh, other teachers as well、um, have taught on this practice, and their teachings are available in English and in Chinese. So uh, tonight, uh, we intended actually to introduce two other practices for the cultivation of compassion, and we will continue with this tomorrow. Even though tomorrow afternoon's topic is、um, a different one to the topic we've had for this three evening, because、uh, tomorrow's topic does、um, entail. Um, uh, Bodhicitta. We are going to go on、uh, with talking about how we can bring compassion into our everyday lives in order to eliminate our worry, our sadness, our stress, and our suffering. So,、um, to put it briefly, how we go about solving and eliminating our own suffering through the practice of compassion. <coughs> 好，我们今天的课讲到这里。Sonam de ye tam jo se banya tomne ni be jana pamshe jana jaga na je valo te ba te bim zole jowa jowa jo om ahom banjang je ba ma se de hom om ahom banjang <音>谢谢谢谢大家，阿弥陀佛，大家晚安，扎西德嘞。